In this video, we will be showing you how to connect your Renogy inverter charger with LCD to a deep cycle battery, connect to shore power, and connect a typical household item for off-the-grid use. We will be using the 3000 watt inverter charger with LCD display. The inverter charger is shipped with a battery temperature sensor and a wired remote control. The sensor allows the inverter charger to continuously adjust the charging voltage based on the battery temperature. The remote control allows you to turn on and off the inverter charger from a more desirable location. It features smart LED indicators and an LCD display to view the inverter status and programming features. There are four buttons to navigate through each screen and for programming. The inverter charger does not come with cables. We will be using the two aught cables to connect the battery. Make sure the inverter charger is in the off position before connecting any wires. Remove the terminal cover. Then loosen the negative terminal nut and insert the negative cable onto the terminal and tighten the terminal back on. Then place the other end of the inverter cable on the negative post of the battery. Make sure to match the polarity of the battery to the inverter and to the feed wires through the correct faceplate terminals. Repeat the previous steps for the positive terminal and the positive cable to complete the battery connection. Power the inverter charger to the on position. The LCD screen will turn on. Now that we have verified that the unit is wired correctly to the battery, we can move on to the final step of wiring. Power the inverter charger to the off position. There are no AC ports on the inverter charger, instead there is a hard wire connections. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using modified extension cables for the AC input and output connections. Before wiring the AC connections, make sure to feed the bare wire ends through the corresponding faceplate terminals. Then connect the modified female extension cable to the AC output on the inverter charger and connect the modified male wire to the AC input of the inverter charger. When connecting to shore power, the inverter charger can be programmed to use only shore power for the AC output, or only battery power. Once connected to shore power, the inverter charger's LCD screen will display line source detected, indicating the inverter charger is now charging the battery bank. Now we can also connect an AC appliance to the output of the inverter charger and run off battery power or shore power. Once completed, place the terminal cover back on and screw it down. We will now be setting up the battery parameters on the LCD screen. Hold down the enter button for 3 seconds to enter the settings menu. Once in the settings menu, navigate to option 5 for battery settings. When in the battery settings screen, hold down the enter button for 3 seconds and navigate to the desired battery type. For today's demonstration, we are using our 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, so we will be choosing the corresponding lithium setting. Next, we will connect the provided battery temperature sensor to the inverter charger and place the temperature sensor next to the battery. Lastly, we will connect the provided wired remote control to the inverter charger and place it in a desired location. Successfully set up and programmed your inverter charger with LCD screen. Now you can run AC appliances completely off the grid and recharge your battery bank using shore power. We hope this video has helped you familiarize yourself with Renogy's 3000 watt pure sign wave inverter charger with LCD. Thank you for your purchase and have a wonderful day.